Hey you guys, I had extra footage here from the Guardians of the Galaxy build video that I ended up cutting that was really in detail how I painted and finished the orb along with the boots, so I figured I'd share that here for anybody that's interested in watching. I ended up cutting it just because it was too long, but uh, again, here it is if you're interested in watching it and seeing in detail how I finished those props, so thanks. And here is the Infinity Orb outside shells. This thing printed beautifully. Took about 20 hours to print on my CR10 at 0.2 millimeter layer height. Printed this in red hatchbox PLA. This came out perfect. I would have thought it would print it a little bit faster, but I had it printing really slow since I was not using supports and I wanted the detail to be really uh, perfect on these and there's very little stringing that I'm gonna have to clean up on this and then the inside shell pieces that actually help it snap together that was printed on my MakerBot Mini. I actually don't feature that a lot in my videos anymore since I've upgraded to larger printers but it was great to have that machine back up and running and printing these smaller inside pieces that fit perfectly on that small print bed. I'm gonna be using that a lot more moving forward for some of my projects just so I can help speed up the print times. All right. The next steps here, I'm gonna get this cleaned up a little bit and then start applying some XTC 3D and get it painted. So before I hit this with XTC 3D, I wanna clean up a little bit of the stringing that I'm seeing in between the pieces here. I could go in and try and snip those and extract them. What instead I'm gonna use is a heat gun and apply some low heat to this. I don't wanna melt the part, but it should, once the heat contacts that, sort of wither these pieces away. So let's check out and see how well that works. And again, you want to make sure you're using the low setting <laughs> on this. All right, so I think that helped clean this up a good bit. There is still a little bit more stringing in there, so I think I will just go in and try and tweeze those out or uh, just dremel them out so I get it nice and, nice and clean. But it, the, the key part is a lot of the very fine stringing it has been cleaned up. So there's just a little bit of minimal cleanup left on this. All right, so I've got the Infinity Orb casing here. It's all assembled and I painted it. So I used just black spray paint, some matte black spray paint after I did some primer over it and coated the entire thing in black here. I've also used some, I believe it was a Rust-Oleum metallic looking gold that I had laying around for this color. I might end up using some gold paint. Here I've got some, I think, Martha Stewart uh, gold uh, acrylic paint that I might try brushing over it just to see how it looks. Uh, I also have some folk art metallic gold paint that I might check out and use for that here. Uh, for the actual orb here, what I'm gonna end up using is I'm gonna try and use this rub and buff. So let me see if I can get a nice close up of this for you guys. I'm gonna use this rub and buff and it's really, you know, it's, it's a little bit goes a very long way. I'm gonna end up putting this on a piece of paper towel, I believe. And let me, so I think I'm just gonna end up basically brushing it on the outside of this to give it that metallic look and I need to put gloves on. The last time that I used rub and buff, I ended up having silver hands far too long. The doctor will see you now. So that little dab used a whole lot of this section here. So here's comparing the buffed version with the silver rub and buff, and here is the original unpainted or unbuffed version. Very, very cool. And the idea is, again, you're just buffing this on. You don't have to coat it on. You just really put a little bit and just rub it over. And I don't want this to look perfect. This is supposed to look like a, a you know, a beat up meteor type thing from the movie. <laughs> So this is looking very friggin' cool. Side note, if you don't have a 3D printer, I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera here, 
but you can pick up these styrofoam balls from Michael's or some any of their arts and craft store. And if you have a jigsaw or just maybe even a hot knife, you can cut through the styrofoam ball. This is what I was using originally before I 3D printed this. This was a project that I was working on previously. There we go, I just adjusted the brightness of my camera so that you, maybe you can see this a little better. And I basically just drew on all the designs and then I used a soldering iron to burn away portions of this to give me a nice effect. And I think I even gave it a pattern that matched up similar to this one. Yeah, there we go. So pretty, pretty interesting. I would be interested just in going through and doing this still. So if you wanted to do something very basic like this, I mean, that's a, a very cheap and effective way. I think this was a dollar, maybe $2 for this, this styrofoam ball. And then again, just cut it in half and used a soldering iron to uh, to fill this in. And then you could paint it and then do, use the exact same thing, rub and buff over it. Really cheap prop if you wanted to make your own. All right, so I'm looking at this and it's just, it's too, it's too clean for me. So I'm gonna use some black acrylic paint and muddy it up a little bit. Again, you can do this with a little bit of water. So here I put a little bit of water in my cup. If I get my paintbrush out, I can, I've got a nice stiff paintbrush here. My goodness, that is a really stiff paintbrush. Um, I'll get a little bit of water on the plate. Oh, that's a lot of water on the plate, which is fine. I just want to basically muddy up this so that I can basically go over this and get it a little dirty, the crevices. This should look like it's an ancient relic, you know? Not something that was pristinely painted. Then I just pat it dry. All right, a little grimed up, completely clean. This is already looking a lot better. All right, and then I'm just going back over, and again, you might not be able to see this on camera, but I'm using a little bit of that metallic gold, uh, just a very tiny bit, rubbing it around to get, you know, more or less not a lot on the brush and just very gently brushing it across. Cross. I'm just trying to, trying to dust it to give it that highlight of gold that's on there be a nice contrast between the black and silver. So I've got again the base of this metallic metallic gold Rust-Oleum spray paint that I used and then I used some black acrylic to dirty it up and then some of this metallic paint to acrylic paint just to highlight it a bit. So again you can try and show the difference here. So here you can see again the uh, here I've used a little bit of gold to brush up on the highlights, the black for the dark spots, and then the Rust-Oleum, which is the plane here. So this is looking much, much better. Very nice. All right, it's time to do, all right, it's time to do, yeah. All right, it's time to do some more rubbing and buffing. So again, this rub and buff stuff that I am showing here, focus, focus, focus. Focus! There we go. Uh, is, again, you just apply a very little bit. I'm using paper towel to apply it. You can apply it with cloth. And here I've just got it on a piece of paper and I'm just brushing it on to give that metallic look. So these are the rocket boots from, again, Star-Lord's outfit here. And I'm just going in and to make this look metallic on top of the black, I'm just, again, buffing it on. So here, just taking a look at some examples of photos from the movie and taking it from there, just applying a little bit of rub and buff and going back over with it. This, and the best part about this, the absolute best part, that I, part that I love about this is that you can be messy with this. Look at, I just kind of went to town on this piece. I didn't decide to paint any of it other than just rub and buff some areas of it to make it look like it's a worn piece of metal. And I can, you know, you don't want to go overboard with it, but here's a great example of this booster that I've just rub and buffed. So I buffed some of the edges where it would connect up. 
Uh, the top part, the middle sections, left the inside pieces black here. This section scuffed up a little bit more to make it look like it's more worn and, and used. And then I think I'm gonna add some uh, additional highlights here to make it look like this, this afterburner boot jet has actually been used and is kind of hot or, I don't know, uh, burnt, so to speak. So maybe some purple and red highlights on it. My favorite part of a project like this is there's no screwing it up because it, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's supposed to look non-pristine. You want it to look worn. You want it to look damaged. So if you had an issue with the print and part of it, I don't know, didn't print quite right, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna be really noticeable. Plus, plus the fact that um, I, I'm gonna have this on display in the background somewhere, so it's not like someone's gonna be up viewing it up close. I'm not too worried about the the super fine detail on this, or even if I decide to do a full on Star Lord cosplay outfit, I don't have to worry because these are gonna be on my feet, and it's not like people are gonna be getting on their hands and knees to uh, check out my feet, uh, to check these out. So, unless maybe I can figure out a way to do some sort of a cool effect with them. Um, so here I'm just gonna brush this on some more. But look at that, I love this. I l absolutely love this stuff. All right, and now that this is all, I, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna actually I've got this metallic purple paint that I have been just dying to use. So let's see what I can come up with for this. Probably gonna mix in a little bit of black with this as well. Sort of burn burn the, the ends here. All right, here's the look at the ends of the rockets. So again, uh, I'm not too worried about the paint job. I, I'm not going for perfect, exact evenness, nature. I think it was Adam Savage that said nature is not perfect and not even or equal. So feel free to you know do this as you like and have it cause a little bit of screw ups there. So here's some of some brighter, some darker, and I basically just mixed this metallic purple, a red, and a black to to get this this sort of look here so it should look like it's sort of used it included some blowback so to speak of purple lightly up into the upper areas as well so i think this is looking really good the next step here is going to be to glue these on hey so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video not normally what i post but i usually end up cutting a lot of that but i figured i'd, I'd share it with you guys so hopefully you enjoyed it uh, and maybe i'll start posting more things like this in the future with some of the larger projects that i'm working on but uh hey thanks again for watching and sticking around to the end here <laughs> all right I'll see you again soon